Hello and welcome to My Speaker Secrets. My name is Patience Chisangamaya, your public speaking and branding trainer. I am really excited as I film my part three of my book review of Talk Like Ted, nine public speaking secrets from the world's top minds. Now, if you recall, in the past two videos, I've been talking about the fact that this is a must-have in your book collection if you want to elevate your public speaking skills, or better still, if you're just starting out in your journey as a public speaker. In part three of Talk Like Ted, Carmine Gallo, the author of this book, talks about your presentation being memorable. I mean, what is the purpose of you making a presentation? You want your audience to remember it, right? So under the chapter of how memorable presentations are put together, Kamein shares three exciting, valuable, useful principles, which are number one, sticking to the 18 minute rule. Number two, creating multi-sensory imaging when you make your presentations. And thirdly, or is it lastly, he talks about you sticking to your lane when you are public speaking. Now let's get into it. What do I appreciate about this chapter? Firstly, he talks about how the brain works when it comes to maintaining focus and returning information. When he talks about maintaining the 18 minute rule, he refers to the fact that when there's too much information being presented to the audience, it becomes more difficult for the audience to remember that presentation. And according to researchers, the brain, when overloaded with too much information, tends not to remember some of the key things that are contained in that particular presentation. In short, if you want your presentation to be memorable, make it short and to the point. And the hundreds of TEDx presentations that have been made are subjected to that time frame, which is 18 minutes. According to the curator, Richard Anderson of TED, he says that a TED talk must be long enough to be serious, but short enough for the audience to maintain focus, for the audience to remember the content of that presentation. So remember that fact. It is very, very important for you to ensure that you do not overload your audience with too much information, otherwise they will not remember that information. He highlights a scientific research that was carried out by one of the universities where students were told that the lecture they were attending was going to culminate into a quiz that they were supposed to answer. And what these researchers found out was that the longer the lectures were, the more the students got anxious about the fact that they have to remember piles and piles of information. Let's move on to the second principle in part three of Talk Like Ted, which is you creating multi-sensory imaging whenever you make a presentation. And I really appreciated this particular principle because it goes back to something that I have shared with you before, which is utilizing visual aids when you are making a presentation. Remember, when you public speak, it's not just about your words, it's not just about your voice. It's also about imparting creativity in the minds of your audience. And he highlights interesting tidbits of why it is important for you to have visuals, especially if you are addressing an audience that has no clue whatsoever with regards to what you are talking about. So utilize all the senses that exist, the sense of smell, the sense of visuals, the sense of audio, 
All those things are important when you are public speaking because it also helps your audience to retain that information. Interestingly enough, the issue of the PowerPoint presentation is also one thing that is highlighted in the book. And do remember that I once did mention that your PowerPoint slides should definitely contain more image and less text. The more text you have on your PowerPoint presentation, the less concentration, the lesser concentration your audience will have. So make sure that you explore your creativity, add visual aids to your presentation, and your presentation levels will be elevated definitely from the ordinary to the extraordinary. And now we get to the third and final principle that Talk Like Ted shares in this book. And this principle is about you sticking to your lane. To a certain extent, I feel that this particular element is similar to the element of you tapping into your passion. What makes you tick? When you are public speaking, you have to be authentic. There is nothing more disappointing than you as a speaker faking your accent, faking your story, or better still, not telling your story from the heart. Because remember, public speaking is not from mouth to ear, but from heart to heart. He shares an interesting story of an interview that Oprah Winfrey once had, and one of the people in the audience asked Oprah Winfrey what they should do in order for them to be like Oprah Winfrey. And Oprah Winfrey's response was, you can't be Oprah Winfrey. You can't be like me because if you are like me, you are taking away the value that you bring to the world. Now remember, there's so many exceptional public speakers in the world. We utilize the same principles. This book shares the nine basic principles that are useful to your public speaking journey, nine basic public principles that are valuable to my public speaking journey, so we can all master the art of public speaking. But there is one thing we all can't do, and that is telling our story authentically. Each one's story is different. So feel free to be vulnerable in your public speaking journey and tell your story. Tap into your talents, tap into the things that you are passionate about, and share your voice with the world. He shares an interesting story of Sheryl Sandberg, who delivered a TED talk. And Sheryl Sandberg, in an interview, did share that prior to making that TED talk, she had to leave her child back at home and her child had to cling on to her because she was not going to be with that particular child. And she shared this in her talk. She changed her talk overnight. But what that did was add value to her presentation when she was talking about the fact that you can't do it all. Multitasking is, 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 is something that is very, very difficult. It is challenging. We are all human. And there are certain times when certain tasks get more of attention as opposed to other tasks. In short, stay in your lane, stick to the basics, Tap into your passion and the things that make you tick. Feel free to be authentic whenever you are public speaking. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings me to the end of my thoughts about Talk Like Ted. Now, hundreds of speeches have been analyzed. Scientific research proving that some of the principles that we utilize when mastering the art of public speaking are real, proving that they actually have an impact is something that is very, very exceptional. I highly recommend that you get this book. If you would like to know more about me, click the information tab and you will find the links to all the platforms where I am active. I look forward to hearing from you. Send me your questions. Give me your feedback. I would love to hear from you. And let's see how we can all improve and grow in our public speaking journey. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
and check out my playlist called Speaker Secrets where I share various tips and principles that can help you in your communication journey. So for me, for now, it's goodbye until my next video.